All right, let's uh, shoot a video here on a on another finished project. This is a uh, 2020 Nissan NV2500. Uh, a little different for us. Uh, don't get many of these. Some people don't like these vans. I personally love them. So, as you can tell here, uh, we installed 395 watts of solar on the roof with a custom uh, bed-lined uh, roof rack, and it also has a uh, max air fan. We installed a couple of the uh, uh, Dometic insulated double pane windows with the screens and the shades, which we'll see that here in a second. And then uh, we added a shoreline hook up here on the outside. So that's about all we did to the, the exterior of this. The rest of it is all inside. So as we open the doors here in the back, you can see this is all knotty pine and uh, cherry wood. So here's these uh, Dometic windows. They have the screen, the blackout screen, along with the screen built in. And these are uh, awning style windows. You know, nice little windows. Down under here, we have a, uh, I don't know if you can see it up there, a 2000 watt uh, Victron Multi Plus, two uh, Battleborn batteries, a Sterling 60 amp DC to DC, and then a uh, Victron 150 solar charge controller. And then uh, she wanted to add a, uh, a tray underneath the bed here. Uh, let me open this up because it's kind of hard to do with uh, one hand. All right, so she wanted a full extension tray so she could get easy access to all the stuff underneath of her bed here. So we gave her a nice full tray. These are 500 pound drawer slides. I mean, you know, it's, it's still a little bouncy, but uh, it comes out 47 inches. So that's a that's a pretty good extension out of the back there. All right, let me close this up and we'll go around to the to the front part. All right, so as we go to the sliding door here. Now this isn't going to be one that everyone is going to enjoy because it has a large bed. Uh, with this van being smaller, it, uh, the floor plan works, but you don't have a lot of walking around room. The one thing that we don't have on this build right now is because they kept canceling it on me. Sorry about the shadow. Is the uh, passenger side swivel. That way they can spin that around and, and that will be her only seat in this build. So as we get up in here, you know, you're gonna be able to tell she wanted something to remind her of her late husband, which his uh, favorite color was blue. They started designing this before he passed away. So we incorporated some Eastern red cedar countertops, epoxy, that I, uh, I put some blue in, to, in all the voids to kind of give it a little bit of a pop. And then I also did that over here on her little table you know, for on the on the lagoon here, and as we close the door here, you can kind of see. You know, we insulated with uh, wool, Havelock wool, back behind the door panels. We painted the bottom one just kind of match. This is an eight inch thick mattress that the lady had picked out. And we installed it in here for, you notice it's got a lot bigger cabinets than, than most of my builds do. Kind of make up for the lack of space. 
she wanted this one divided she has some food containers that are 12 inches tall so that left her with this little shelf up here on top these have uh, magnet latches uh, they are pretty damn strong they're I think they're 65 pound magnets so you've got to give it a pretty good little a little tug to break the magnet seal and then you know down here along the edge of the bed you have you know you can lay your phone and everything we also have the uh, what the hell's the name of that the soco fan uh them are great little fans they're expensive or sirocco sorry um but they put out some air for no bigger than what they are down here alongside the bed you have four storage compartments all the way down through there with the same magnets on them so i just took this thing and weighed it and for those that are asking it weighs in at 7400 pounds which isn't too bad considering what it weighed to begin with I'm thinking it was somewhere around 63, 6,400 pounds. So it's a pretty heavy van. So as I back up here. So she also wanted a nice big drawer. So there's her refrigerator. So I end up using some 500 pound drawer slides on these as well. Yes, I know they make for these ice coves. They make a slider drawer for them but it would not slide out far enough to clear the bed and then if I got it to where to clear the bed it would go back far enough to clear the drawers so I'm trying not to move the camera around too fast but as you bring this back there that's it it latches all you gotta do is put your foot on here push that down pull pull it out it's secure same with this drawer now she wanted a nice big deep drawer to store stuff in so i done the exact same thing it has a you just put your foot on it full extension uh, I divided this drawer up that's close to 14 inches deep there and then you have like a utensil drawer so so as we push this back you'll see that drawer there just kind of slides right back on in place as we push that in there's a stop in the back that pushes it in whenever you we close it same thing <clears throat> nice stops full extension don't have to worry about it over here there's three equal drawers that are good to go down here is her fresh water tank her gray water tank and then we also added a line that goes to the outside to dump the water onto the ground so it does have running water And that's uh that's about it on this build you know it's a uh, nice for the size of the van it is very nice for what she intends to use it for uh for me <clears throat> would this make a good full timing van for me no it's too small uh 
but this is the design her and her husband agreed on and got a hold of me about and i think it worked out great uh, one thing i forgot to mention these nissans come with a rather large console right here which makes it a impossible to put a swivel seat here on the passenger side and b just to get from the front to the back so we took that out and uh and then we built this little tray you know for whatever you I mean you've always got something you want to keep within reach well inside the uh console was a factory 400 watt inverter plug and a cigarette lighter plug so we kind of built that little cedar box there underneath the cup holder that we still utilize them I know uh, you can probably hear me huffing and puffing here in the background. I am recovering from COVID. So, uh, you know, it's not because I'm fat and out of shape. It's because I can't breathe very well right now. I am recovering, but, uh, you know, it's a slow process. All right. So as we uh, conclude with this project and uh, get ready to get it ready for the customer to pick up, you know, I just want to say uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, you know, as always, as every YouTuber does, please like, subscribe, share, you know, all the good stuff. It really helps out. Uh, I know I don't put out that many videos. I do record a lot, and uh, I just don't have the time right now to edit them. Uh, and even though I don't do much editing, but just get them up on YouTube and everything. So i'm trying to get better at that i am looking for someone uh a secretary type that can work on that for me but uh you know it's a it's a process especially when you live in rural you know rural towns that you don't have much of a employee base to choose from so that's what i'm trying to do you know we're still working on doing some expansion and we'll uh, we'll go from there so as we finish up i want to say thanks for uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video